I've decided to do a follow-up video from the series of videos I did on identifying wires and polarities of pickups. I had a couple of things that I, after I did the videos that I thought about and wanted to revisit, things that are actually kind of straightforward and obvious and I didn't feel like re-editing the videos. So I'm just going to make another one and let's talk about it. Let's start with the Seymour Duncan P-Rails. This is the neck pickup, this is the bridge pickup, and the way they're configured with magnetic polarities. This is a north magnet, the rail is a south, this rail is a north, this P90 is a south. So if you buy a set of these P-Rails, it's obvious that you're not going to use them only as humbuckers. You're going to have some sort of a switching system so that you can select the single coil mode. So you can select the, 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 the rails, the mini rails, or the P90s. They're designed to be used with this setup. So the P90s are on the outsides and the mini rails are on the insides to give you the strat tones. So in order to maintain hum canceling when you go to those, seri those um, single coil positions, you would want these to be d opposite magnetic polarities and you'd want the P90s to be opposite magnetic polarities. So they've set them up north-south, north-south, so that if you pick the two inside mini rails, this one's a south and that one's a north. If you choose P90s, this one's a north, that one's a south. That makes perfect sense to me. And one other thing about that that's, that's actually nice on the part of Seymour Duncan is even though these, are, these pickups are, are, are configured with opposite magnetic polarities, they've still wired them internally so that when they come out onto the wiring, they are still what's considered kind of standard Seymour Duncan polarities. Um, the white and black is one coil with the black being positive green and red is the other coil and the red is the positive so that doesn't change that doesn't swap around when you go to the other pickup we covered all the other differences there but at least that part of it the electrical phase is still consistent with what you're used to seeing from Seymour Duncan now on the other hand this PV these PV pickups these made a lot more sense to me with a little bit of thought after afterwards it's, it appears that the one is completely backwards from the other. But if you think about it this way, if you had two identical pickups, a slug on the left, screw coil on the right, and they were wired exactly the same, in this case, um, the red, the, in this case they're using red and green for the slug coil, and they're using black and white for the screw, for the screw coil. So then if you took this other pickup and it does it does have the same um, red and green are the slug and black and white are the, is the screw coil. So the wires are connected to the same coils if you will but everything from there seems to be backwards. Well that's simple enough to do if you had taken this taken two identical pickups and you had taken the, the bar magnet out of this one flipped it over to reverse its magnetic polarity, put it back in, put the thing back together again, you would have exactly what this is. You would still have the white and black wires, <clears throat> excuse me, the white and black wires on the screw coil, you would still have the green and red on the slug coil, but now the, um, if I were to, if I connect up the meter to it and using the same electrical polarity as the other pickup, meaning I'm going to tie the black lead to the green wire and red to red. What we find there is now we have the response is, it, is, is negative to that uh, to that uh, induced that, indu that induced voltage actually goes negative. So that is exactly also what you would expect to see if you took the magnet and flipped it over. This is a fairly common thing in, especially in Les Paul circles, guys like to flip the uh, magnet on one of the pickups to get an out of phase sound between them. So if you flip the magnet around, what comes out of these wires essentially comes around, comes out the other way. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. Um, 
in probably a, a clearer fashion, but if you reverse the magnet, the current is going to flow, the induced current is going to flow in the opposite direction. So it's going to look like now suddenly this, this pickup is now electrically out of phase with that pickup. So what you end up having to do in that situation is what we talked about in the other video. You have to then treat these wires differently. You have to go through and figure out which, which sequence you want them in. And it's kind of like everything gets reversed and turned around in order to end up with the same electrical phase if you want them in phase. If you want them still electrically in phase, that's what you have to do. On a Les Paul, guys will flip that magnet <clears throat> to intentionally get them out of phase to get the Peter Green out of phase tones. But in this case, uh, PV didn't want them to be electrically out of phase. It just wanted to have them so that you ended up with north-south, north-south on those magnets. So when you started m combining inside coils, you had a, a south and a north and when you combined outside coils you had a north and a south and they were still electrically in phase but you got the hum cancelling uh, capabilities of having opposite magnets. So I think that's all I wanted to cover on that basically just to point out that if you reverse the magnet if you take the magnet out of a humbucker and flip it over and reverse the magnetic polarities you will also then reverse the phase of all the wires if you want them out of phase, that's fine. If you don't want them out of phase, then you have to deal with rewiring the pickup so that all the wires kind of go backwards from what you would normally expect them to be.